The term atherosclerosis is a compound Greek word meaning athero, porridge or gruel, sclerosis, to narrow or harden. Therefore, atherosclerosis is a pathological process affecting arteries in the body, which causes them to harden and narrow by fibro fatty plaques. The prevalence and severity of atherosclerosis has been correlated by a number of risk factors. These are dyslipidemia, which means an increased bad fat, decrease good fat in the blood, hypertension, smoking, and diabetes. These risk factors are what we call modifiable because they could be reduced or mitigated. Whilst increase in age, male sex, and genetics are non-modifiable, therefore they cannot be changed. It's important to note that these risk factors have a compound effect on the outcomes of atherosclerosis. For instance, if you were to have two risk factors, your chance of having a heart attack caused by atherosclerosis is four fold increased. Whereas if you have three, it's seven times increased. Here we have an artery in cross section to demonstrate the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis. The formation of atherosclerosis requires an initiating event, usually known as chronic endothelial injury. This can occur through things like the sheer stresses in hypertension or the chemicals in smoking. Once the endothelial injury has occurred, Fats, in this case LDLs, or low-density lipoproteins, will start to accumulate in the wall of the artery. Cells like macrophages or smooth muscle cells will try to remove these lipoproteins by engulfing them, thus becoming what we call foam cells. But the LDLs become cytotoxic, which can be exaggerated by smoking, which kills these cells and causes chronic inflammation. Smooth muscle cells will migrate from the tunica media and try to seal off the plaque, whilst the chronic inflammation, which includes calcium, causes the plaque to harden. This is now an advanced plaque. The possible complications of the plaque now are the core of the plaque becomes necrotic, which makes the artery vulnerable to rupture, to become an aneurysm. This can be seen in the abdominal aorta, which is known as an abdominal aortic aneurysm or a triple A. The plaque continues to grow, which causes a critical stenosis. And if this is in the crotic vessels, can lead to ischemic stroke. Or if it's in the coronary vessels, it can lead to angina. Or if the plaque ruptures, it causes a clot to form or a thrombus, which starts to block off the artery, which could lead to a heart attack or an MI in the heart or an embolic stroke in the brain.